What's up, you guys? Welcome to Hunter's Detailing Channel. Here in this video, we're gonna give you guys five detailing tips to get going on your detailing business. Let's go. Hey, good morning, Rocky. It's going pretty good. Just letting you know I'm headed your way. All right, see you in 10. All right, so first tip is to call the customer, let them know if you're gonna be late, let them know if you're gonna be early, check in to make sure they remember that they had an appointment because I've dealt with a lot of people that forget, forget their appointments. So give them a reminder, give them 15, 20 minutes in advance or 30 minutes out, whatever works for you. Let me ask you, have you ever showed up when you were first starting out? Say, hey, oh, we're here for your car wash and then they'll be like, car wash, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, not that, but I've got, gotten there and they weren't there. And I've sat out there, waited and waited, called them and no answer, so. And then how did it end? Did they come back or did you just leave? They just disappeared and they write me like a day or two later apologizing like, oh, I'm sorry, um, emergency or whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, they always say you <laughs> emergency, you know? Yeah, they exactly. Lying, bro. They lying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tip number two, guys, is don't take too long on the vehicle because time is money. And if you're sitting there all day, you're going to get behind. And um, a lot of the stuff that we're cleaning extra they don't even realize they don't even notice it so not saying to go above and beyond but i'm saying get in there get it done get as most of the dirt and grime as you can get we're not perfect but make that thing beautiful man and don't take too long tell me the story of that one time you took what 12 hours to clean one car Sheesh, yeah <laughs> so i was doing a basic cleaning inside and out and you guys it took me like six hours just to do that and this was when I was first starting. So a lot of you guys are gonna get out there and you're gonna wanna clean every little thing. You're gonna go over it 20 times over and over and over again. And at that point, you're cleaning nothing. You already cleaned up everything, but we as detailers, we see things that most people don't see. So get in there, get it done, get your money, man. Okay, so tip number three. When I first started detailing, I was doing a whole bunch of extra stuff. Interior shine, picking up dog hair, cleaning up, throw up. These are all things that you could charge extra for. In the beginning, if you're getting your feet wet and you wanna do extra just to lock in your customers, go ahead and do that. But once you build your name up and you're at a certain point, stop doing that stuff for free because that's a lot of extra money. That's a lot of money you could upsell and, 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 and walk out of there with a extra 100 or $200. So keep that in mind. What's the most you ever charge for an extra thing? Like throw up? You ever have to clean throw up? Yes, sir. I charged uh, about an extra 150, 200. It's all depending on the condition of how much they threw up. <laughs> did the baby throw up? Did a grown up throw up? So you just judge it accordingly and how messy it is. And when you're already there, most of the time they're gonna just tell you to do it. It's rare that they tell you, hey, that's too much. So get there. Tip number four, you gotta watch out for them low ballers. They pull up on you. Hey man, um, if I got three or four cars, do you think that you could work out a combo deal, man? Um, what I tell them is, I don't know you. A lot of people say that. Let's get these cars done, original price, and if you can consistently book every two weeks, every three weeks, then we can work something out. And I know in the beginning, you're gonna to wanna to take everybody. I was doing the same thing with the low ballers. You know, $45, $25 here, there for the washes, and you're building your name. That's okay if you wanna do that, but once you get to a certain point, you gotta, you gotta grow some, you get to a certain point, you gotta get bold on these people. No, can't do that, sir. Um, I've established my business big enough to where I, I don't need to uh, um, take in cheap work. You know, my work is, is, is top of the line, man. So you just let them know it's not gonna work and uh, just be confident in, in what you do. And they're gonna see that. When they know that they can get you lower, they're gonna keep at it when they see you cracking and stuff. So it's like an interrogation. They're sizing you up, they're looking at you. They're like, can I get it for 45? They're looking at you and you just look at them and tell them, no, that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to stick to my prices. Let me <laughs> ask you when you were first starting out, did some people play you just because you didn't have an experience? Boy. Or they took advantage of you? Yeah, a lot of people took advantage of me, especially when they knew that I was just starting. And um, 
they, they took a yeah they took advantage of me what they were doing was they were adding a whole bunch of stuff hey uh, you see that spot there could you do that hey this right here can you just pick that up and they weren't tipping and they weren't worried about the price because they sized me up and they seen that i was a nice person so you got to get in there and let them know ahead of time hey this right here that's going to be more hey this right here so you can't be quiet in this business you got to speak up and let them know and be confident all right the next one is 11 minutes away perfect hey wayne Yes, sir. People want to know, Wayne. What about the gas? Oh, man. You rolling on E, bro. Oh, can somebody send some gas money, please? Oh, man. Hey, hey, this van right here running on hopes and dreams, Wayne. Yeah, it really is on fumes. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth tip is to do your job, man. If you do your job, the clients are going to call you back. So if you've done over 50 to 100 cars and you did all those cars great, they tipped you, you got five stars, you're gonna get consistent calls back if you do your job. So the objective is, is to get Ricky, Johnny to book on Fridays at 8 a.m. So what I need to do is call back everybody that I have in my contact list and make sure they're booked for reincurring. But it's also great when you do a good job because it's gonna fill in the gaps. So me, when I go out, I got half new clients that I'm going to, then I got the other half of repeat clients that call in randomly and fill in those gaps. So it's great, do your job. So let me ask you this, as a beginner, detailer, how do you know if you did a good job or not? When you get a tip, when they call you back, or you just never know? Honestly, if I get all the people that I do their cars, their reaction, most of the time after, I finally got my first reaction on video. Where and like, wow. they, the lady was like, oh my gosh, babe, oh, come here, look, 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 they got it. I was like, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Like you. Babe, look at the dashboard. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. So after all these times of just visually seeing it, I'm, I'm gonna start capturing it. But that's how I know when I do a good job is their reaction. When they look at it, um, they give me five stars or they give me a big tip. 30, 40, 50, $250. Wait, I thought you charged her only 200, right? I did, you guys. So she give you a tip? Ooh. An extra $50 tip. All right. Come on. And most of the time they do one of the three and it's hard dealing with the people that come and look and they're just like, that makes me nervous. I'm not really? even going to lie. And you deal with those people that don't say anything at all. They'll just say, thank you, have a good day. Look over the car, and literally, that's it. And you don't even know if they're, like, hating it <laughs> or this and that, right? You, you don't know unless you really ask. Uh, and I don't like asking. If they don't tell me, then I won't ask. I'll, I'll ask them, do they see anything? And they'll say they don't see nothing. Have a good day. There you go. And sometimes those people, those people even go and uh, leave five stars, bro. Maybe they're just how they are. Yep, they just don't know how to express. You know, you know what? Like the last car we just did. I exactly. Got here, uh, I don't know, bro. I got a certain vibe off him. Right. Like, uh, he probably don't like us or this and that. He gave you a $50 tip. $50 tip. So exactly. For, and first time customer. Right, right. Hopefully, man, they come back. Yep, sometimes it takes, takes people some time to warm up. Next time you come, they'll talk a little bit more. All right, so those are five tips for the people that are interested in the detailing business. Get going on your business. If you guys enjoy these videos, like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Show your boy some love.